So we're here at the Courtauld Gallery uh, to see the exhibition Toulouse-Lautrec and Jane Avril Beyond the Moulin Rouge and we're bringing together a whole group of representations of Avril that show the different ways in which Lautrec portrayed this really extraordinary dancer. But Toulouse-Lautrec and Jane Avril are really extraordinary characters and in many ways they're, they're very idiosyncratic but one contemporary critic talked about how they had created an art that really sort of represented their age. Uh, Toulouse-Lautrec perhaps needs no introduction. He was one of the most famous avant-garde artists of his time. But Jane Avril is a name that isn't familiar with us, to us anymore. And Jane Avril was a dancer at the Moulin Rouge. Um, but she was a very different kind of dancer because although she delighted audiences with her sort of strange and flamboyant performances, she'd also had a very particular history. Um, she'd actually been a patient at a, a mental hospital. And that really sort of fed into her act and fed into the ways in which people understood her act. But Toulouse the Trek and Jane Avril would have met at the Moulin Rouge. Uh, the Moulin Rouge opened in 1889 and it very soon became Le Trek's favourite nightclub. And they really helped to make the place, you know, the place to be. They became friends through that, that connection there, but their relationship did go beyond the performance venue. Now, it doesn't seem as if they were ever lovers. Um, one of Lautrec's friends did sort of insinuate that Lautrec was a little infatuated and perhaps by looking at the pictures we might imagine that that was the case. But I think most importantly there does seem to be a sort of artistic respect one for the other. And what's quite extraordinary is that Lautrec shows Avril in all kinds of different guises. So rather than simply showing her dancing, simply showing her on stage, he shows her as a private individual in very kind of quiet moments, away from the sort of the bright lights if you like. The works in this exhibition were all produced in the 1890s, which was a very exciting decade in Paris. Um, this was a time when lots of different clubs were opening, uh, when lots of things were happening in terms of society, which meant that you know, people were unsure of themselves, um, people didn't know what would happen next. You know, the, there were so many different inventions at this time. And I think some of that excitement, some of that liveliness is really captured in Lautrec's work. The Trek and Avril, in many ways, couldn't have had more dissimilar backgrounds. They really were poles apart in terms of the privileges they'd enjoyed uh, during their childhood. But actually, they had a lot in common too. Um, they were both part of a, a bohemian elite in Montmartre. They both had a certain notoriety and both cut rather strange figures in that society. Le Trek, because of his, his short stature, and Avril because she had a nervous twitch and also because she dressed rather eccentrically. She loved sort of flamboyant hats and brightly coloured clothes and yeah, sort of choosing very vibrant coloured petticoats. I very much hope that people will enjoy this exhibition um, because these works are very vibrant and uplifting and, and really, you know, just so wonderful to experience firsthand. But actually I also hope that they'll gain a, a sort of richer understanding of Paris in the 1890s because it's not just about high kicks and glamour. There is actually something really strange and subtle happening that I think in many ways has resonances for us in the 21st century.